My name's Megan. I'm from New York. Um, I'm doing my master's in archaeology at the moment, and um, I talked to the field school director that I was working with and told her I was interested. So she actually helped me set up meetings with some of the people, like Graham Warren. He's one of the professors there, and. Um, it, we, I came in and I met with him and he told me about everything, gave me a ton of material to look over about the school. I came in here into the International Student Lounge, talked to some people there, got booklets and whatnot, and just read through the stuff, went home and applied. Um, I am doing a master's, it's a one year program, it's 90 credits and I take about uh, four classes over the two semesters. And I've done uh, research archaeology, research and thesis, which basically just kind of helps lay out the thesis for uh, the summertime. Um, key issues in prehistory, which is fascinating, made a ton of presentations and really got into all the different aspects of archaeology. Geographical information systems, well, but it, that was a fantastic course regardless if it was for archaeology or anything else because it's really useful. I did the GIS course my first semester. I did research archaeology one. Basically the classes that I, that I was doing first semester was uh, one of them was just field work and how to accomplish various survey techniques and um, recording techniques for archaeology. Um, the spatial methods class was how to create maps and look at spatial data, various things like that. Uh, research archaeology one was basically looking into the ways to research archaeology in Ireland, which was extremely helpful, especially for someone like me coming from the States, not having done any sort of previous work in Irish archaeology. So that was really useful. The key issues in prehistory was my the other class that I took last semester, and that was uh, pretty much we just went through, did presentations, had a ton of guest lecturers come in and talk about their specific topics in archaeology, which was really nice to hear a real professional talk about each aspect of prehistory. So it was fantastic. That class is actually a two-part class. It was Research Archaeology 1, and I'm currently in Research Archaeology 2. The, the first class was just about how to research here, what uh, facilities are available, who to talk to, where to go, um, contact information, stuff like that. Like, uh, for that class, we went on two field trips, one to the National Museum, or in the archives in the museum, and the second one to the actual archives in Dublin. So that was really useful. We got to go in, explore how um, just those facilities work, who to talk to, how to get in, when we could get in. Most of it was in-class work of researching online, using library facilities, stuff like that. And I guess the assessment was just like essay work and pretty much outlining how to use everything that we'd learned. And the, the second part of the class we're taking now is about um, archaeology in itself in Ireland, how, where it stands now, improvements that could be made, uh, looking at the history of the profession as a whole. So it's really interesting sitting there and uh, pretty much pretending like we're the real professionals already and going through and deciding how we can make it better, how it actually works and where we can take it in the future. It's really interesting because like the, the field trip I was just on in La Crew, we went with Marish O'Sullivan and he's done a ton of work in, uh, in the area on prehistoric art and on various monuments and stuff like that. So it was really fascinating going somewhere with someone who is a prominent name in the area and having his personal um, account of all the site and how it was made and what was there and it's definitely the kinds of things you would never learn on a on a tour itself. It's absolutely amazing because um, all the lectures and everyone, the entire staff is really easy to talk to and get along with and you can just kind of go in there and ask them something ridiculous and they'll still have a very good answer, very good structure. Um, they'll lead you wherever you need to go. It's really fantastic. If you walk down the corridor where the school is, 
pretty much every single office, the door is wide open. Um, they're really easy to talk to. You can just go in there with anything. Um, they're, they're definitely extremely helpful. Like um, I've been working with Steve Davis for my, for my thesis and he just came up to me the other day and was like, do you need any pictures for your proposal? Anything like that? And I was like, actually, yeah, I do. <laughs> like, thanks for reminding me. So they're definitely always there and they're always there for you. And I know um, Connor McDermott, uh, another one of the lecturers, he's generally there till all hours of the night. And we're usually in the reading room, which is our little facility to get our work done. And we can always just go out there and ask him anything. So it's really helpful. Marisha Sullivan, um, definitely had heard of him and used a lot of his work in previous um, things that I've done for archaeology. Um, I, I guess for my, uh, my undergrad thesis that I had to do for anthropology was on uh, megalithic art, so I was using a lot of the work that he's written up before. and. It's always kind of nice when you read all these things from this person and then actually sit down and meet with them and then have great conversations with them. And it was definitely um, Marsh and Steve Davis that led me on the track of the, the thesis that I'm going after now. The school's always letting us know about various things to go and participate in. Uh, there's several opportunities to actually submit abstracts to conferences to speak. So it's a really great experience to, or opportunity to get your name out there and to be as involved as you want to in the field itself, which is fantastic for after when we graduate and we actually have our masters. The people generally around the school are the MAs, the PhD students, and the staff, and it's a really close-knit community. We all know each other quite well, and there's such a support network that absolutely surpasses anything I've experienced in other colleges before.